Hello and welcome back to a new watercolour video. Today I've got the Artful box. I have already opened it. So I wasn't actually planning on doing any art boxes on this channel, just painting videos. But this one, because it's a watercolour box, I'm going to show what's inside and then play around with the art supplies. So this is a three monthly box by Artful and it's always really good value. This is about the fifth or sixth box and I absolutely love this box. So this is the June box and it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm so thrilled with the contents. This is the box. It's got these beautiful watercolour leaves all over it. First of all, we've got this beautiful paint box and it's got the Artful logo in foil there. It's so nice. When at first glance I thought this is just going to be an empty box, but no, it's full of watercolours, a full set of 24 watercolours. So these are Artful's own brand, they've started putting their own brand products um, in these boxes. Now the box is only £35. I'm not really sure whether they're going to be artist quality paints because artist quality are obviously really, really expensive. But I'm going to try them out and they look really nice and they've come in a gorgeous case. So I'm just really pleased with them so far just because they look so nice. In this box is some of their own brand paintbrushes. And I do already have a couple of these from a previous box. Um, I think the different sizes, they look really, really nice quality. It's got a lovely, nice quality wooden handle. And the bristles are synthetic, but they look really nice. Ooh. So we've got a large flat, and there's three different sized rounds. And there's an angle brush. Then we've also got um, a graphite pencil and a pipette, a little pipette for transferring water onto your paints. In this tissue paper we've got a bottle of masking fluid by De La Rowney. We've got four blank greetings cards suitable for wet and dry media. These have been in a couple of boxes now. These are really nice. I haven't used them actually but they look really nice and then we've got this big A4 pad of watercolour paper so it's heavyweight watercolour paper 25 sheets which is really generous and it's a £140 weight um, obviously it's not going to be top level watercolour paper but it, you know it is watercolour paper and it's um, a generous amount. And then the Artful magazine, you get one of these in every box as well. Probably sounds like I'm trying to sell this box, but I'm not. I'm just a genuine customer and I just really, I've been pleased with every box that I've got. And this magazine is full of tutorials, but look at the artwork on the front. That is just so beautiful. I absolutely adore this artwork. All the artwork that they pick for the boxes is always just beautiful. And then inside, there's lots of tutorials and the artwork on the inside is also absolutely stunning. This is some tips on how to use watercolors, how to use masking fluid, and then it just goes into this gorgeous artwork. So that's like one watercolour artist, Aaron Apsley. Look at that, beautiful cac um, cactus. And there's more of his artwork. And look at that. I don't know who's done that one, but it's gorgeous. Another artist, Holly Exley, and all her art think yeah tutorial another tutorial 
Then this is Naomi Van Doren and I think this lady must have done the cover art because it's a similar style and it's absolutely out of this world. It's so nice. Real fantasy kind of art. Then this is another artist, Anna Tromop. And we've got a beautiful crane and that is a step-by-step -step tutorial. Another artist, Helen Dardick. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Like every single piece of art that they've picked for this book is just to die for. Another tutorial, just some more artwork to look at. Another tutorial. Just loads of tutorials and just gorgeous artworks to look at. So that's the book that comes with it. This is such good value for £35, it really is. Okay, so I'm going to have a play around with the stuff now and I'll do one of the tutorials out of the book as well. So these are the little half pans. There's no pigment information on them or any other information, so I think think they're probably just student grade paints so I'll get all those unwrapped the name of the colours on the sticker but it's not on the pan so I'm just going to cut the name out and stick it on the pans just so that I know what the colours are Okay, so I've decided I'm gonna go for this one. It's the grey crowned crane. So it looks a little bit complicated, but I'm gonna attempt to draw it. Um, I was thinking about tracing it, but I'm actually gonna try and draw it myself. Okay, so I've drawn a grid, just um, quite a large grid of four squares, and then I've also drawn it on the picture. Um, this is just to help me get the proportions in the right place. Okay, so I've got the drawing completed. I'm going to add some masking fluid to these white areas here. If you see in the picture, they're quite white. And then some little white bits on the bird as well. I'm going to shake it up and it all masking fluid always gets bubbles on, which I find really annoying. So I'm going to use the pipette. I always transfer a bit of masking fluid, just a little because you really don't need very much. I try and get the bit from underneath the bubbles and then right away I'll rinse that out in some water to get the masking fluid off the pipette. Okay, and I'm going to use, I've got two tools, I've got this which is for using with pastels and then I've also got a dotting tool as well, um, instead of messing a paintbrush up with the sticky masking fluid, I'm going to use these tools here. Probably not going to need to use the dotting tool, this one's working absolutely fine. But the dotting tool is absolutely great for tiny little dots obviously and perfectly round dots as well. You get really perfect little dots. I forgot to say as well, the other reason that I put the 
masking fluid um, separately, I get a little bit out separately, is to stop it drying up with the bottle being open and then I've gone and forgot to put the cap on anyhow, so <laughs> but that's, um, that's one of the reasons why I do that. Not that I really use masking fluid a lot, but on the few occasions when I do use it, I like to just take a little bit out the bottle and then close the bottle up. And it looks like the um, this little, I don't even know what the tool's called, it's like a little angled tool with rubber on the end. It looks like it's breaking off on the point but it isn't, that's just like the masking fluid drying. Okay so I'll just talk a little bit about the contents of the box while I'm doing this painting. So first of all, the mask and fluid I found worked really, really well. Um, I've got the Winsor & Newton mask and fluid and sometimes it does tear the paper up. Um, it could be just the combination of that mask and fluid with the paper though because some papers work better with mask and fluid than others. So I'm not sure about that but this mask and fluid did work well with this paper and I didn't actually take the mask and fluid off until the next day which is usually like a no-no. You've usually got to take it off like as soon as your paint's dried because it can rip the paper if not but that didn't happen so that was fine. Um, the paper, I haven't really got anything much to say about the paper because I didn't find any problems with it. Uh, it worked really nice. Um, it didn't even really buckle very much. Um, yeah, it was quite good paper. The brushes, they worked really well and I really like them. But they're no different from some cheap brushes that I bought from China. Which are really um, good quality for the price. Um, and these seemed the same. So... The, the recommended retail price in the book for these, I think it's unrealistic because they're not branded brushes, like they're not Princeton or Da Vinci. And I'm, I've had a little look at the price of Princeton brushes um, and they actually seem a little bit cheaper than these brushes. So I'm, I'm just not convinced that these brushes are really worth the price that they're saying that they're worth. But... No, I've got no problem with them at all. I enjoyed using them. I thought they were they worked really well. But I just I don't understand the the price that they're suggesting for them. Then onto the paints, are absolutely lovely hobby paints. I don't think well. I I really really don't think that they're artist quality, and I don't think that they're worth what they're saying they're worth. Um. I had no problems with them though. They're really nice paints. I suspect they're not professional paints because they were, they were very, very bright and vibrant and then they didn't fade back down when it dried like natural pigments would um, for artist paints, which is why they're high priced because they've got, first of all, they've got like natural minerals and pigments in them, but they're also, they don't fade, which is why professional artists need to use them and why they're so expensive. But these are recommended retail price, £50. I just find that really, really hard to believe. So I'm guessing that there's some dye added to them to make them so bright and vibrant. But I'm not a watercolour expert and this is just... This is just a suspicion. I just suspect that they're not artist quality. And seeing as though the there is no pigment information on the packet, it's on. It's really unlikely that they are because I think it was Lisa Lockery from Lockery's Fine Art. I was watching a video of hers the other day, and I can't remember for absolute definite, but I'm pretty sure she said if there's no life fast ratings on packaging then they're probably not light fast because the companies have to pay a lot of money to produce light fast art products. So they would definitely advertise the fact on their packaging if they'd gone through the process of that. I think it was her that said it. Um, so although they are lovely paints, they were really, really nice. They are just hobby paints and I just can't understand why they would 
inflate the price so much for the RRP. I do think that the box is worth £35. I think it's worth more than £35. I think it's a lovely box. I especially adore the teal coloured paint tin. But I just don't get why they would be saying that it's worth £125. I don't think it is. But I definitely think it's worth more than what you pay in, in my opinion. Yeah, I just don't get why they would inflate the prices because people aren't stupid and it's just just a bit annoying so as i said in the beginning i'm not planning on doing art boxes on this channel normally it's just because it was a watercolor one so i hope you've enjoyed the video and hopefully i'll have another video up soon in the next couple of weeks and thank you very much for watching